Impeached Deputy President Brigadi Gashagwa's fight for political survival deemed Thursday after the courts issued orders giving the green light for the swearing-in of Deputy President-elect Gidure Kindiki. The courts, in declining to extend the conservative orders, blocking the swearing-in of the DP-elect ruled that his rights to a fair trial will not be infringed in any way. So what next for the impeached DP Rigadi Shagwa as the deputy president-elect Kidure Kindiki prepares to assume office as the second in command. The political future of impeached Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa appears to be fast fading after a three-judge bench declined to extend conservatory orders issued by the High Court in Kirinyaga, blocking the swearing-in ceremony of the deputy president-elect. Law and constitutional experts say the discharging of the conservatory orders paves the way for the deputy president-elect to take oath of office. It will mean is uh, a new office holder, and in this case, obviously, Professor Kintiki Kiture will be able to have a leeway to actually assume the office. Lawyer Eric Nakurenya opines that Keshagwa's legal team has the option to appeal the matter and potentially escalate it to the Supreme Court to challenge the constitutionality of his removal. I even expect that uh, perhaps uh, for those who are, will be aggrieved, any aggrieved party in the event of uh, being uh, dissatisfied by the decision of the, the, the High Court, they should be able to enjoy the right of appeal, go all the way to the Court of Appeal, uh, have the case uh, listened to, uh, proceed, and even probably even go all the way to uh, the Apex Court, the Supreme Court, just like uh, the other cases that have been proceeding, especially in the cases of the removal of uh, the, the governors. Yeah. We are going to the Court of Appeal. To appeal against uh, that uh, draconian uh, ruling uh, because the ruling is conveniently meant to suit uh, some parties in these particular proceedings. But what remedies will the court provide if Gashagwa wins the case while Kindiki has already taken oath of office? If you look at uh, the current environment, uh, I do not see a possibility where the courts will reinstate uh, the deputy president to his uh, office. Just like in the event of a marriage where it has uh, considerably broken down, it becomes uh, quite a challenge. But of course, the law has a provision. This is the first time we're having an impeachment proceeding and uh, court cases in, in regard to removal of uh, a deputy president. And uh, we, we are very keen to, to see the kind of uh, jurisprudence that will come from uh, our courts. The Constitution actually has already predicted those kind of scenarios. It provides that in this impeachment, it can be vacant for 74 days. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing will stop. And as Gashagwa's legal team consider their legal options, focus shifts to Professor Kiture Kindiki, who is now posed to be the country's new deputy president. Kindiki, who is currently serving as the Interior Cabinet Secretary, was nominated by President William Ruto on 18th of October to deputize him and approved by the National Assembly on the same day. Professor Kindiki, a lawyer by profession, has had an illustrious political career, having served as the Senator of Tharaka Nithi County for 10 years between 2013 and 2022, as well as served as Member of Parliament.